need a little more space than the last person. I think Justine's a little bit smaller than I am. If you want to just start the opening statement, then we'll take the question. Okay. Good afternoon. As uh, we open up fall classes, obviously cross country is, uh, is just about to get underway, and we're excited about that. Um, our rosters have changed quite a bit from, from last year. Certainly on our men's side, we have a, a very large group of incoming students coming to campus. Um, one just got in last night uh, from, uh, from Nairobi, and then we have another one that we expect to get in this week. Um, so I think right now our men's roster really looks like a, a very different group of, of student athletes from, from last year. Um, certainly a, a lot of talent on the roster and also a lot of depth. Um, so we're excited about where the men's group uh, will be able to go this year. Certainly I believe that they're going to be a team that can be in the, in the top third of the ACC as a, as a men's team. And ultimately, that'd be a really nice step from, from last year because we were 10th we were at the ACC championships. Um, on the men's side, there's definitely some key components that return. Emmanuel Chaposin is, is a young man that can be you know, all ACC and, and also challenge at the, at the regional meet. And, and we look for him to be a national representative as well for, for the men's cross country team. Um, Albert Koskai had a great spring, and, and we really believe that uh, his successes in the steeplechase will really relay over to the cross country course as well. Um, he was ACC runner up in the steeplechase, so that's uh, definitely a position where he'll, he'll be a significant contributor this fall. Um, and then as, as we continue to grow, you know, grow through the season, we'll expect our freshmen to be able to contribute to, uh, significantly into October and November when we get to the championship season. Um, certainly Kyle Johnson's a, a freshman coming down from Ohio. Um, Christian Parker is one of the better cross country runners from the state of Kentucky um, and, and joins us as a freshman as well. Um, Nick Geary's a local kid right here from, from Louisville that I think will be able to grow into a strong role with our men's team. Um, and then uh, Isaac Kiprop has uh, moved to campus uh, and I think he'll contribute as, uh, you know, as, as the season goes and hopefully be able to get into position to be challenging for all ACC freshman honors. That would be a, a great goal for him as a freshman. Um, and then Shadrach Kipkoske should uh, arrive here within the next week and uh, hopefully get ready for uh, first, an academic adjustment, and uh, secondly, an athletic adjustment. Um, on the women's side, um, Cassidy Manning returns to the program. She was an all-ACC runner, so it's great to have Cassidy back out and, and racing. And, and then the uh, experience that Ivan Chemutai uh, saw last year as she was you know, all-ACC 10,000-meter runner and then advanced to the national championships in outdoor track and field, we expect to see those, uh, those results relay over into the, you know, into the fall sports season as well. Yeah, so, with that, I'll certainly be excited to take your questions. Coach, on the women's side, uh, Dorcas Wasiki, the status on her, how's she doing? Dorcas uh, had, a, had a tough end of the spring, you know, so my objective with Dorcas is to be really patient. She is a first class representation, <laughs> representative of our university, um, and, and ultimately, we want to be patient with Dorcas. She's been uh, obviously won a lot of ACC titles um, in, in the time that she's been on campus. She's been NCAA runner-up at the 10,000 meter distance. Um, but she got a little uh, hamstring issue last spring. So we're going to take a very slow process back um, and return to, to play, um, you know, medical game plan with Dorcas. She's doing well, uh, but ultimately we're, we're going to set her up with, with a little bit more focus on the year for indoor and outdoor track and field um, as, as the year goes. Got one of maybe the better practice facilities in the nation at EP Tom Sawyer Park. Let's talk about how that helps your team in regional and national competition. Well, I think it's a Tom Sawyer Park is, is a great place not only to train but also to compete. And we're also blessed to have the Greater Global Sports Commission on board to run terrific cross country races out there. And um, they bring so much to our community um, but with, with the races they put on and host out at Tom Sawyer Park. So they've been tremendous partners for us, and we look forward to continuing that relationship. Um, but Tom Sawyer provides a, a great training ground, as well as the rest of the local parks. I mean, I don't think that uh, our students take anything for, for granted when it comes to parks, because our recreation facilities here in the metro area are as, as good as anywhere I've ever been in the country. Looking at the ACC this year, obviously a great cross-country conference. So you see some of the stronger teams that you'll be competing against this season. I, I would certainly expect the Notre Dame men are going to be very talented. Um, when you look at Notre Dame, uh, what they were able to do last year, it was kind of a surprise for them on the men's side to win the ACC championship. 
but Notre Dame was, uh, they've, they've done some solid growth and, and certainly have, have continued to get better as, as the spring uh, passed last year as well. Um, North Carolina State, Virginia are always pretty tough. They're always really good in cross country, but I believe that our, our men's team, as long as we can, can get here and pack and stay healthy, um, we'll, we'll be right there at the front of the league. Um, I think the men's group will be very competitive, uh, certainly our goal. Um, you know, but we, again, we don't want to put too much of results expectation on our students. We're going to continue to be a, fo a program that focuses on the process. We want our kids to stay in the moment on a daily basis because if they are really able to come in and, and just focus on a daily basis, just get the, the little bit better every day. If we can just get uh, kind of the battle of the 1%, if we can attack that 1% and just learn how to, to handle things throughout the season, then uh, we're going to be really, really talented at the end of the year and in a good position. If you had to pick one player on each side to say be your breakout player this year, one that maybe didn't have a great season last year but could really surprise this season, who would you, who would you come up with? Uh, on the men's side, I think uh, both Emmanuel Chebelson and, Al and Albert Goscott are both capable and ready to run with anybody in the ACC. They're, they're talented young men that have had time to adjust to, to our campus climate, are in a good situation academically. They're not going to be under too much academic stress. Um, you know. So they're, they're in a good position to be able to really make uh, strong runs this fall. Um, I, I think both can, can challenge for um, certainly all ACC, all region, um, and beyond honors. On the women's side, Ivan Jemutai is, is going to be somebody that was in the mid-40s last year at the ACC Championship. I believe she was 47th at the ACC Championships. Um, and I think she's just much better than that, much better than that. Now we've got to knock on wood <laughs> on, on that because there's, there's a lot of things between now and Halloween. Um, that our student athletes are going to go through, so we've got to be able to, you know, be a healthy and, and b just continue to stay in the moment and get better every week. Anything else? Yeah. Appreciate you.